It always comes to this. guys here to do another tattoo progress update um, where I last left off I just showed off uh, my white highlights obviously on my face um, this video should have come before that if we were going chronological with my work but obviously it was a little hard to hide the uh, white highlights on my face <laughs> white and black highlights the again um, people ask so often so I should make a note every time we're using Panthera black um, for the new stuff and we use dynamic black for the blackout. I will make a quick note because I didn't point it out in the last video But a lot of people were saying because I was using Panthera for so much stuff like the spider eyes and um, stuff in here when I did these um, Because this is a cover-up of a dagger and a rose on my face A lot of people were wondering why I didn't use Panthera because I've been using that for all the new stuff the plan was, or at least my loose plan theoretically, was always that I would do something like this. In which case, I don't know if you can cover Panthera Black with Dynamic Black and get a difference from it. I haven't tried that yet. So the blacks are two different tones. Dynamic having more of a blue base and Panthera having more of a gray base. Um, I do plan on testing that theory eventually somewhere. And if I were a tattooer myself, I would have already. Anyway, um... So yeah, Panthera Black, and then we used uh, Silverback White, for the people who were wondering last time. So that's where we have the distinction. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble too much about my face tattoos again. That's enough on that. Um, what I got done before that was Rick and I were back into this armpit. Um, because the color didn't stay as well the first round we did on the color. Now this is the 11th time we've worked on this armpit overall. And I think it's going to be the last time for a while because the white is in now. This, I should mention, is is uh, healed now. It's peeled. Um, so this is what you get. I've noticed a lot, especially with like color and white on black and black on black work. Once the peel is done, you basically, that's what you're left with. It doesn't really change much after that. I've been yammering on and on about how these spider eyes are kind of my uh, litmus test for um, color and white on black. Um, and they haven't changed much. It's been nearly a year. Next month it will be a year. I know I mentioned that almost every video, but it's important to note that these are almost a year old and they haven't changed. They were fading when we, were, we didn't have the black and white in together, but once we got both elements together, they seem to stay and not change. It's almost like when you get the white and black together, they kind of border them border each other or create a wall and um, both elements stand out but without both present it's impossible to say how long you're going to get out of it uh, I have people send me uh, white like line work tattoos quite often on Instagram and they, they'll ask me now like you know hey Remy is this going to last or will this one be striking or um, uh, will the contrast be very good or clear and usually the answer is no. And it's because, like I say all the time, you have to have the black and white ink both working together. Um, so we did that. We got the armpit done. So now it's uh, about the same. This one might even be a little bit brighter than this one. Um, we may end up touching the color up in this one now because this one's a little brighter. This was the better armpit. Now it's slightly worse. Um, but they both look pretty great. Um, we're not... Again, the color on black is a lot just about tinting the black. It's not really always about making it the most colorful color you could get. In this case, we didn't really want it as bright as the red we have here. We wanted it a bit darker. So that's not unintentional for the people who were thinking that that color is a little bit dark or whatever. It was meant to be. These colors weren't meant to be super prominent. We got prominent color already. <laughs> we already have done that. So that's not that we can't do it. It's that... In this case, we actually didn't want to. Um, the armpit wasn't all we did. The color took just north of an hour. Uh, it was still a shorter session, but 
Uh, we got kind of two goals done at the same time. Well, kind of. As I said, kind of. Um, we also got back into this eye. So you can probably barely see it, but I'll put a picture. You might be able to see it. There's some blue in there now. This is also peeled already. So we did uh, all kinds of colors, actually. There was some pinks and some purples and some dark blues and light blues. And the idea was to um, give this thing more of a buggy kind of look to it. And it has healed, like the color's still there, but Rick didn't want to do the entire thing in case the colors didn't work. Uh, because we haven't tried a lot of the colors that he's doing. It was like, well, let's do a little bit and see how it goes. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll come back um, and do the rest of it. Make some changes if we need to. But it does show up. So again, it was just more kind of like testing the waters. Um, seeing what's possible. Um I think once it's all done, you'll be able to see it a little bit more. I will show off while I'm down here. You can still see this guy now. It's a little bit dry, but uh, it's lasting better than it ever did before. So hopefully that means that uh, getting the white and the black in there keeps it together a little bit better. And again, I'm not worried at all about this one over here. I feel like that'll be much like the ones further up on my sides. I don't think it's going to fade off now that we got those in there. Actually, this one had stayed decent enough, even just with dynamic on dynamic. Because originally all of this was done with the first six months we were laying all of this out with dynamic black. Thank goodness we changed to Panthera because that was a big game changer for us. All of a sudden the work was actually lasting. Um, we were kind of chasing our tail. Anyway, yeah, so quite a bit done there. Um, I always love the sessions where we try new colors the most. Those are actually kind of my favorite ones. Uh, if it were up to me, we would try a new color every week. But we will be doing that soon. Um, this chess piece is up next. This is what we're going to be working on next time. Um, feels like I've been talking about getting to my chest forever, but we're, we finally kind of have no option now. Barring Rick calling in sick or no-showing or fucking around or whatever... We will be getting to this chest this week. Uh, we have a few little things to do in between sessions on the chest. Uh, we, we're going to do another round on, on the white and spider eyes. Just to increase the, the contrast between the black and the white. Again, not because the white is fading or that it needs to. But because two passes of white works better than one. And he's learned a lot about putting white in over black since we worked on those. It's been another year so. Um, another pass would do wonders for them. And another pass is going to make the black look darker too, without ever even touching the black. That's kind of the, the interesting thing about this work is all of these elements support each other. And once the black looks blacker, the red is going to pop too, interestingly enough. So yeah, next week we're going to be, well, I guess it's only four days from now now when I'm making this video. Uh, I got tattooed on Monday and uh, I get tattooed on in three days, so three or four days. So yeah, lots of big plans for the chest. Um, I'm planning that the chest is going to be probably between 10 and 15 sessions. I've thought about it a lot and I think I want it to be as layered as everything else. Again, it's going to be going from uh, my shoulders to my chest. Like It's going to take the whole area and it's going to be a lot of color. A lot more color than anything else in the suit so far. Um, a lot of people are going to be thinking, but it's still pretty dark there. How are you going to cover that? It's not actually as dark as it looks. So what I mean by that is when you get up into the dynamic background up here, you can't really see these lines that clearly. Like they're not super, super visible anymore. The only reason why it's standing out so much everywhere is because it's bordered by white on every side. Like it's bordered by white up here and the chest is framing it. So like down here, you can barely see where the key was there's no white down there to pop it out now i'm not saying it isn't there i'm not blind it's obviously a shade darker but it's not dark enough that we can't work over it and i'm not exactly sure what rick's approach is going to be to this but there's going to be very little black compared to other parts anyway it's going to be a lot of lightning and coloring things so it's not super important that it's dark because a lot of what we're going to be doing is is changing and brightening things anyway 
So, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'm sure someone has noticed that they're watching this far into the video and maybe even noticed last time. I actually got a new phone this week. I was waiting on it for a while. Um, it's up to my audio and visual quality. Um, I didn't want to have to get a phone right away. I'm, I'm the guy who tries to hold off for as long as possible, but the audio on my other phone, it was always bad and it got to a point where it was completely unusable. I made these two vlogs, uh, this one and the one uh, that went up right before it, the, the one about my face tattoo. I made them both and I couldn't listen to 10 seconds of it without thinking, this is terrible. I can't put anyone through this. I can't put this up on my channel. <laughs> so I had to make these again. So I'm actually kind of retreading some some plot points that I've already mentioned this week. And it's kind of, anytime you lose video footage, we've, we've lost some Remy Reacts over the years. Um, it's always hard to be organic and talk about the same things two times in a row the same way. So I went a bit in a different direction here, but uh, I hope people have still kind of enjoyed this one for whatever reason. Um, yeah, big things coming up. The next vlog is going to be really, really special. I think a lot of people have been wondering. I've showed off a few uh, uh, pictures of the inspiration for this chess piece and I've showed off my doodle of what it would look like. But I think for a long time, people have been waiting to see why I blacked out that chess piece. It's been four months now or whatever it's been and it's been uh polarizing for a lot of people so i'm hoping that when they see me not just start it because that might confuse people even more but when they see me um finishing this thing i'm hoping that it'll put some minds at ease and uh, if it doesn't that's fine not everybody has to like it it is my chess piece but i think once people see what we what we do at this spot uh they're gonna be they're gonna be eased it's going to be relaxed you know the the fear of what has he done is gonna it's gonna go away a little bit anyway i'll talk to you guys again soon have a great day